Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be looking at the changes and improvements that Microsoft is making available with Windows 11 build 26,217 in the Canary channel and build 22,635.3640 in the Vero channel. The company also made available a preview in the dev channel but it doesn't include anything interesting other than fixes. It is important to know that previews in the Canary channel are not tied to any specific release of Windows and the changes in the Vera channel may or may not roll out as soon as they're ready. Okay, let's dive into the changes for these preview reveals on Windows 11. But before, please subscribe to the channel and click the like button to help YouTube show this video to more people. It doesn't cost anything and you will be helping the channel and supporting my work. Okay. I'm going to start with the changes for build 26,217 in the Canary channel. In this particular release, Microsoft is now adding a lot of improvements. However, there are some visual changes in the settings app, more specifically on the about page and on the date and time settings section. Let me show you. So first I'm going to open the settings app and we're going to go to the about page. And now when you click the option to rename your PC, we can see that we have an updated UI for the specific setting that now matches the design language of Windows 11. Now, if we go to time and language, and then we go to date and time, if you need to change the date and time manually, you're going to find that the interface to change that setting has also been updated with design that we see throughout Windows 11. Now, some changes that Microsoft did not mention on the change log is that the update history page on the settings app might soon get a new section that will include all the updates related to AI components for the operating system, as you can see on this screenshot. Also, apparently there is an update coming for the uh, search box in the taskbar that we have a bigger interface to make it easier to to start a search when using the tablet mode for windows 11. so now i have switched computers and now i'm on windows 11 build 22635.3640 in the vera channel and there are not a lot going on here either and microsoft is making available two specific changes one of them is that now you can create seven zip files and tar files. We have seen this on other builds, but basically you just need to right click on file explorer. And then when you go to compress to menu, you can see the options to create a seven Z file or a tar file, but you can also go to the additional options that will bring up the new wizard that allows you to choose the different, the different archival formats. And you can also choose different compression method, the level of compression, and you also have these two settings. And from here, you can create a new archival file. Also, this update includes an updated version for emojis. And the version now is the 15.1 that as usual includes tweaks to the emojis and it also includes new emojis. Aside from the official changes, the update for the Vera channel also includes new improvements for file explorer and that's happening for the home page so apparently microsoft is gearing up to update the home page uh not drastically but now we're going to see that on the home page we're going to find three different tabs to show recent files your favorite files and the files that you have shared with other people and when they're not files on that specific tab you're also going to see that we have some new visuals to show you that there are not any files or any activities on that specific tab. And you can also have some shortcuts. If you click right here, that's going to open folder options. And that option is also here as well. And that is all there's to it. Those are the most important changes that we see on the latest previews for Windows 11 through the Windows Insider program. Let me know in the comments what you think about them. And just remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video, share it. And I just hope this video was informative for you. And I would like to thank you for viewing.